some of you may well be familiar with this area this is clumber park and in particular the south lawns at clumber park which lie south of the lake and the other side of the lake from clumber chapel this is an area of grassy heathland with scattered trees it's also the home to perhaps the uk's rarest spider It's not the easiest of conditions to work in but I'll do as I've done before and that is to lift up any heather and just open up the leaves especially this drier layer of leaf litter and then you're looking for movement Like looking for the veritable needle in a haystack. Now the spider on the edge of this leaf enjoying the sunshine isn't one. Round about the size that I would expect this spider finances form of to be, but this it actually is a juvenile Pusara mirabilis, the nursery web spider. This one's got an awful lot of growing to do, but they are extremely variable and you can see there's that sort of dark marking on the top of the abdomen and that can vary in coloration intensity there can be a whole host of markings on there and it is a species that you could be mistaken for Thanatus formicinus well some exciting news I found one, amazingly found the one. I'm happy with just finding the one. That's all I need. Hopefully now you may well be able to see it at the base of the pot, but all we need to do now is try and photograph it. And even harder, try and film it. These are lively little blighters. Can't believe it. Oh, While well, the wind's dropped, I'll try and film this without it blowing a gale, but this is the spider. You may well be able to see her at this far end, her or him, but doing what the wolf spiders, the Lycosidae spiders, and Pissarro mirabilis, the nursery spider, have all been doing, and that's sunning on a leaf. This one was actually within the top layer of the dry leaves as I hoped and possibly expected them or it to be in. Such a huge fuss over this spider and rightly so but I've said it before and I'll say it again this area of Heathland isn't the best in Nottinghamshire. It's grassy heathland and it's had quite a rough bit of treatment, especially a lot of the heather has gone in, in this area. The main area, the South Lawns, are just down there. But when you're looking and finding the spider, and it's only known from one place in the UK, and that's here, you'd be very unimpressed with the habitat well at least I am it obviously has something but it makes it very hard to believe that this spider Thanatus formicinus is only here but I'm glad that it is here this is a real feather in Nottingham's cap and in the National Trust's cap it's the National Trust that own and look after this land. And they've got this. 
And this is what all that fuss has been about. This is Thanatus formicinus, the so-called diamond spider, named after that elongated diamond-like shaped cardiac mark on the base of the abdomen there. What a fantastic find, and thanks to Nick and Samantha for tipping us off one of the best areas to look for this. They found two specimens yesterday, one of which was minus a few legs. But the only one of these that I've seen was an immature, and I suspect that actually this spider has got maybe another molt to go through. After all, we are only in February. It's a beautiful thing. Generally, a sort of light greyish brown coloration, and a few sort of striations on the cephalothorax there from the back of the head, and then a few light markings on the abdomen. And of course, the only distinct marking is that black with white outline to the cardiac mark there. In many ways, this spider, and certainly immatures, in which that cardiac mark is more brown than black, could be mistaken for juvenile Pissara mirabilis, the nursery web spider. But this never attains the size of a full-grown nursery web spider. I'm just pleased to have been able to have found one. It's always incredibly rewarding when you've spent so long not perhaps in individual attempts but over the course of weeks months or even years as in this instance it's several years since i last came and successfully found this spider so to see it now after I think two attempts in 2023 and two in 2022, all of which ultimately failed. Produced some nice videos of the South Lawns here at Clumber Park, but no actual footage of the spider. What a beauty. This is Nottingshire's rarest spiders and probably the UK's rarest spider. It is only found here at Clumber and only in this area of Clumber. Former known sites have not seen the spider anywhere in the UK for many many years and the spider was for several decades believed extinct in the UK. It has been looked for at previous sites but not been found and this one actually appears to be eating something but don't rely on my eyes too much. Maybe that's why this one is being so obliging. Can't believe that I'm looking at one of these again lots of effort is required it's like when you see rare species on the television that have been filmed the amount of effort and time and man hours that go into just producing the briefest bit of footage on occasions is unbelievable and isn't appreciated and yet i can see now that this is eating some small fly there you can see this spider absolutely perfectly there are three species as far as i'm aware of thanatus in the uk two of which are native and i'm probably one of the few people that have seen all three even the non-native one which occasionally turns up in tubs of crickets or locusts for supply to the 
reptile and tarantula trade. I just paused for a minute just to hold this old oak up. I thought it looked in danger of falling down, so I stuck myself against it, and that should solve that problem. But it's been absolutely brilliant, finally, to catch up with the diamond spider, Thanatus formicinus, and what a cracking species it is too, and how lucky are we here in Nottinghamshire to have it. However, I'm convinced that it's still in most of its former localities in the east and south of the UK. But at least it saves me a trek again to the south lawn, so here at Clumber, but admittedly, it is a very nice walk indeed and it's quite quiet today with today being a Monday. So I think a celebratory drink is the order of the day when I get back home. I've got another 10 minutes to walk back to the car and ponder on what's been a great little day. Thankfully we've found the diamond pack spider. <laughs> 